Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Joffy Noodle Legs here today. Uh, today I've got another top 10 for you, a little bit of a different one today. Today I'm going through my top 10 favourite releases of 2022. Now, when I say that, it doesn't mean these are films that are made this year. Okay, these could be films that are made 50 years ago, whatever. But they the releases of these films, so like, like if it's come out, from a company and it's been a really good release like it's been upgraded to a 4k uh, transfer or it's got a really good sort of like um you know collector sort of thing with it um so these are my top 10 favorite releases of the year um not like um new films there are a few new films i'm going to start with two honorable mentions mostly for the new films one is out on blu-ray and that and i don't own it yet or but I went to see it at the cinema with the lad Lemon Lord and loved it. And it's the the Batman, uh, the latest Batman film. I thought that was an amazing film. Really, really enjoyed that. So that's an honourable mention. And another one that I went to see at the cinema with my lad, but I do own it on a uh, 4K because he got it for me uh, for me birthday. And that is uh, Jurassic World um, Dominion. I'm giving this an honourable mention because I love dinosaur movies, guys. I know it's cheesy and the Jurassic sort of, Park trilogy were the best, and Jurassic World seems to have deteriorated as it gone along. I still love it though, you know. I love this because it's got some of the characters from Jurassic Park in it Sam Neill and everyone, you know, back into the film. Um, really loved it, so it was like a real sort of throwback for me to see this, and I really enjoyed it uh, at the cinema. And so, when my lad picked me up for this, uh, for me, uh, my birthday, I was dead chuffed. Because I've got all the Jurassic Worlds on 4K now. And I've got the Jurassic Park trilogy on 4K. So that completes my set. So that's brilliant. So they're the two honourable mentions. So now we're going to get to my favourite top 10 releases of 2022. And number 10 is a release by Arrow. It's an old sort of um, cheesy sort of slasher. Not one of the better ones. But I did like the release of it. And it's a girl's night out. Um, really. It's a really cheesy sort of horror. Um, I will review this on my channel. I haven't got around to doing it yet, but I will. But I do love this edition. It, it, it comes with the slip case. Um, and it's got like a, a booklet with it, which is really, really cool. I was kind of hoping it'd have a really cheesy poster to slip up on my wall there. But there we go. Um, so that's cool. That's at number 10. Um, and that's released by the Arrow video, and it's uh, Girls' Night Out. Good release by them. Really good transfer to film. Really cool. And the slipcase is really, really cool. Number nine. Uh, this was released by 88 Films. It's an old um, video nasty that's only had really poor transfers. Um, it got a DVD release years ago, and then it got... Uh, and that was really poor. But now it's got a really good release. With an excellent transfer. And that is Night of the Demon. This is a really cool film. It's a Bigfoot film. And the Bigfoot's really, really cool. And it's really gory. And it's got lots of gore. This was, a, it was an infamous sort of video nasty when it came out. And when you, if you do watch it, you'll see why. Uh, the killings are very brutal on the film. So this was released by 88 Film. And I liked it because of the two disc. And the... The second disc had a documentary all about video nasties, like a 90 minute documentary about video nasties. So that is worth a pick up alone, but that's really caught cool, number nine. Number eight is also by 88 Films, and it's a box set, uh, which I've already reviewed on my channel, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. And it's the Species box set. This came out this year, um, earlier in the year. Really, really cool box set, really nice. It's got lots of things in there, posters and uh, art cards and all sorts going on in that box set. And that was released earlier in the year. Really cool box set. 88 Film done a really good film with that. They did release uh, Anaconda, and, and that which was obviously a little bit disappointment compared to this one. Because not as much has gone into that as, as this one had. But it's a really cool box set there. That's in at number 8. Number seven is another box set, this time from Arrow. Well, it's not really a box set, it's a collector's edition. And it's of um, Henry, Portrait of the Serial Killer. Again, this is another one I need to review on my channel, which I'll probably do in the new year. This is the 4K version. Comes in a really cool box. Comes with two booklets. 
One booklet is the storyboards of the film, which is excellent. And the other booklet is like a, um, interviews and the making of sort of thing. And it comes with a poster, double-sided poster. And it comes with the 4K and the Blu-ray of the film, as well as some art cards. So a really, really well-produced booklet and um, set from Arrow. And I do love Henry, the portrait of serial killer, as you saw in my um, favourite serial killer films of all time. Uh, really cool film, great transfer on this, a great, great um, release this year from Arrow is Henry, portrait of serial killer at number seven. Number six, this I believe was out on the cinema as well. I'm sure it was at the beginning of the year. I could be wrong, but it's definitely got a release on Blu-ray this year. Um, and it's the, the latest instalment of the Scream films. Uh, really enjoy the Scream films. That's why I put it in here, because I thought it was really good fun. Although, it did spoil it for me, killing off one of my favourite characters in the film. But there we go. Um, I believe they are talking about another one. But... This was really, really cool because it brought back some of the old members and it's been a, quite a gap between this and the last film. And they did a really good film on this one. I really enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it in the cinema when I saw it with the lad and I've enjoyed it on Blu-ray. And that's Scream. So that's the Scream films at number six. So we get into the top five. Uh, number five is a classic, one of my favourite films and I've reviewed it on my channel. And it's the, uh, the 88 films release of Maniac on their slasher collection number 50 i believe this is going to be their last release on the slasher i uh, hope not because there's still some good films that they need to do this is a really good addition for the slip case love the original artwork it does come with a, a poster double-sided poster and a booklet so and a really nice release and the transfer is phenomenal it's the best of films ever looked and it's just great that they've actually We've actually got a proper Blu-ray release of this film because I've had it on DVD, uh, which since then I've passed on to a friend. But um, yeah, it's it's great to pick this up on Blu-ray. Really, really cool film. Loved the film, and I was really chuffed when this got a Blu-ray release in October. So that's my fifth favourite release this year. My fourth is from Arrow, uh, an old slasher which I've never watched before. Because um, I was never really appealed to me, but then I brought it and I absolutely fell in love with it. And it's Hell High. Really love this release of the uh, of this um, film. Again, another really good, well produced um, uh, product from Arrow. This was released earlier in the year. Comes with a slip case, and it also comes with like a, a booklet. A first printing booklet and also the Blu-ray the film and the transfer is really really cool it looks stunning really good film my lad picked this up as well and he really enjoyed it on his first year it's such a cool film it's uh, it's a it's a revenge movie about these kids picking on and tormenting this teacher and they think they've killed her but in fact they haven't um, so it's a really cool film really good good slasher movie top three Probably a bit obvious because they're three of my favourite films of this year. Well, not they're not none of these films were. Well, I don't know. One might have been made this year. I'm not sure, but I think they were probably made last year. They're probably 2021 films, but a couple of these were. But these are, I've highly recommended throughout the whole year, and I've given high scores. Number three, Two Witches from The Arrow. Again, I love this film. I did do a review on my channel. Gave it a 10 out of 10. Love the film, amazing film, and it's a really good sort of like addition with the slip case, obviously with the booklet, which is amazing, and there's a double-sided poster, which again, guys, I am so tempted. The problem is why I've not put any of these sort of posters on my wall here is because I like to see my set complete, if you know what I mean. And I'm just thinking, oh, do I really want to put it on the wall? But part of me is thinking, yeah, why do I looking out to buy posters when I've got some phenomenal posters in these sets? You know, like, and I love Two Witches, so that would be a really cool one to put up on my wall. So I don't know. I have to think about it because it does look a bit blank. And I was just thinking, having a few sort of like horror posters lined up down there 
would, would look really, really cool. Number three of my favourite releases of 2022 is Two Witches. Number two is Double Film um, release, and this is of the Terrifier films. I love the films. I used to have the first one on DVD a long time ago. It's been out a good few years now, the first one. And now they've, they've released it with the second one, with the release of the second one. Um, and it's got both of the movies in there, one and two. Um, I've told you about these films before, about Art the Clown. Um, I love Art the Clown. He's probably one of my favourite new sort of uh, um, serial killer in films, you know, around the sort of Jason and Michael Myers sort of thing. I think he's going to be the next big thing, like the Freddy Krueger and stuff. I think he's going to be the next big killer. Um, the extreme, though. Whereas the other films like Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween are all sort of more um, wider audience acceptance. These are more extreme. These are for your horror fans, really, this series. But they are awesome. They're good fun. It's, they're, they're quite funny and they're very dark and they're very, very, very gory. Really, really cool films, though. Um, really love them. Love the films. Terrifier. So my number one can only be Connick. You may remember I got this for my birthday from my son. Well, actually, it wasn't for my birthday. It was before my birthday. He just bought it for me. And I said to him, don't buy me anything else for my for my, for my birthday. That would do. But he went out and bought me the um, the Jurassic World film. So, But this is the best release, I think, this year of 2022, if not ever. And it's Second Sight's version of The Witch. I absolutely love this version. It's fantastic. It's an amazing, amazing set. Really, really cool. Any chance I get to show you this, I'll do it tonight. It comes with a beautiful box. Amazing artwork. It comes with these amazing art cards. It comes with the movies on 4K and Blu-ray. It comes with this amazing hardback book. Which is like, it's like a proper book, guys. You know, it's 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 like a full length book that you would buy. Look, you know, <laughs> when I first come, was that a diary? <laughs> oh, don't get old, guys. Don't recommend it. But yeah, that is my favourite release. The transfer of the picture onto Blu-ray is phenomenal. It's the best looking 4K film I think out there because they've kept. It's look, they've kept it, the colours sort of drained, which I like about it, because it gives that sort of morbid sort of look about the film. And I love the film so much. I just do, I really do. This is the sort of thing, if I ever went to a horror com and some of the cast were there, I would take this with me and I'd get them to sign my box. <laughs> because it's just something that I treasure. And in fact, this belongs in my uh, display cabinet. Um, I rarely take it out unless I'm watching it. I've watched this now since he's bought it for me uh, four times. Um, I've watched it twice and I've watched it with two different commentaries. Uh, and I just love the film. I just love it. That is my favourite release of 2022, The Witch. You know, excluding anything else that's come out um, over the last few weeks. There is some films that have come out that I've not picked up yet. There's the Dew on box set from Arrow. Um and Naring about it. Because you know what I'm like when I talk about J-horrors. It's not that they're bad. Just that they're all so similar. And, uh, you know, but maybe. But that is definitely my favourite. What are your favourite releases from the past 12 months? Let me know down below. It'll be interesting to hear. See you soon, guys.